There's smoke. There's fog. We can only be at one place in October. That would be... Six Flags St. Louis! Come join us. Cue the intro. Ides of March Adventures. Welcome, everyone. We are back at Six Flags St. Louis in October. We are at Fright Fest, obviously. The park was super full. There were monsters, zombies, sinister clowns, trolls, spider people, all kinds of yellow-faced goons strewn about. Not sure why Six Flags doesn't tap into their DC villain library that they have a contract with uh, Warner Brothers, but that's a discussion for another day. The monsters were out in full effect this night. The park was super crowded, and the monsters did not disappoint. The freaks were unleashed all throughout the park. And look what we have here. An old moon car. And the people inside are dead, just like the ride. And what do we see over here in the corner? Is that Bone Jovi? No, that is their competition, not the Dead Beats, not the Grateful Dead, but the Deader Beats. The Deader Beats. What is going on? Why do we have competing skeleton groups in the park? I guess competition is always good for everyone. We did find out that this McBoogles family ride was a hay ride. It does say on the sign. I should have read it, but it is back during the daytime at Boo Fest. Let's head into Zombieville. Zombieville is full of zombies. It's kind of strange just seeing people casually walking past the abandoned studio sports store. There's a zombie right there trying to eat people, yet people are just casually walking about. They must not have ever seen The Walking Dead or The Last of Us because if they had, they would not be walking casually, bringing their children through the park. It makes no sense to me. What is going on? There's zombies, everyone. Look, there's a zombie right there. And people are just looking at it. No one's trying to kill it. No one's running. They're just looking at it. Six Flags did not spare any expenses on the fog machines. There were fog and smoke everywhere. It was like going to a Dave Matthews concert. It was kind of hard to breathe in certain areas. There was some projection mapping located on the side of the train station. The train was not operational this evening. It was down. Oh no! There is a building on fire. Luckily it's a building they never use for anything and there was no fire trucks or any emergency personnel around so we're just gonna let this building burn because it's never used anyway. Let's head on over. We were walking and we spotted Something happening in this little house. We weren't sure. It looks like there's Frankenstein's monster in there. Not Frankenstein. That was the scientist. It's Frankenstein's monster. It looks like there's some kids trying to hide from it. Uh-oh, here we go. Frankenstein's monster has heard him. He has found him under the table. These kids are dead, everyone. They are dead. Nope, he just wants the candy. That is a relief. We were heading over to see if we could find Bone Jovi and... We noticed the mine train was not operational. I was able to get a miner on the video though. Then we wanted to walk over and see if Bone Jovi was there and if they were alive and well. I had heard from friend of the channel and Six Flags legend, Mr. Six Flags, that Bone Jovi was back and it did not disappoint. Bone Jovi was there. I don't know if they know about their competition on the other side of the park, the Deader Beats. Maybe they do. And now it's time to go hit the rave. The Sinister Clowns. Again, not sure why they don't have the actual Joker from the Batman movies available since they have a contract with DC. They just have these guys and gals. The Sinister Clowns. They may act like they're murderous, but they are not. And for some reason this year, they're not using the chainsaws. I don't know what happened to the chainsaws in the park. I did notice another video board with ride times. 
So Six Flags is going all out on the video boards, even though they're available in the app, but they're not correct. So let's go look and see what the Pandemonium line looks like. Look at the queue for Pandemonium. No thank you. We will do this another day. Fright Fest brings in the crowds. Heading over to the back of the park, seeing it all lit up. It looks really cool. Oddballs Funhouse. If anyone has been in that, let me know how it is. It doesn't look very big. Supergirl, still not operational. It has not been operational the last four or five times I've been to the park, so I'm not sure what's going on with Supergirl. Probably a staffing issue. And there is Rookie Racer. Brand new ride for 2023. They just got it in at the nick of time before the park was closed for the rest of the year. Had a fairly decent sized queue line. It's kind of weird how you go in and out in the same spot of this ride. There's one kind of path and it gets a little congested because people are coming in and there's also a line waiting. So it's a little strange how they did that. They need like a divider down the middle. We did locate the electric chair. It's over by the I Don't Carousel. We saw it before Fright Fest started over by the boomerang. Then it disappeared and it reappeared over here in Britannia. And no, no, it's not Christmas. But these trees, everyone, are bleeding. The trees are bleeding. And it's time to go into, I think, my favorite section of Fright Fest into the troll and spider area the ambiance in this spot is just really cool with the lighting and the decorations there wasn't too many trolls out this evening there'll probably be more in the comments than in this actual video but this troll was pretty nice he said hi we decided not to go to the back of the park and see the Nope ride or any of the water features. We'll have to update you on those another time. We just want to stay in the cool spots. There's no like Fright Fest decorations in the back of the park for some reason this year. There is the Master Troll. We were trying to watch it stand up, but every time I've been past him he has not stood up, so I don't know if he's broken or, or what's going on with the Master Troll. And no. We are not going into heaven. We can look to this light. This is just Spider Alley. The place with the spiders. And at this particular time, there was no spiders. But just look how cool this area is. I could spend a long time just in here because it's just so cool. And I don't like spiders. Anybody ever use that uh, free streaming service, Tubi? That's Tubi. To be continued. All right, I'm heading to the front of the park, past the Shazam, Fury of the Gods, on the way to the Cannibal Hideout. But before I get there, I wanted to let you know that I did go to Colonnades earlier in the day. I'm not sure why, but I wanted to try the Rest in Pizza Burger. It was 16 99 if you don't have the meal plan and it's basically a meatball sub in hamburger form it's got marinara mozzarella and a hamburger on a bun it was it was actually pretty good it was basically just it tasted exactly like a meatball sub so no complaints oh and these skeletons right here i hope they're not waiting for any kind of log flume refurbishment because that's never going to happen Now we've hit the Cannibal Hideout. Another really cool section of the park. Past the 2000th fog machine they have. Can't see anything and that's what makes it cool. Who needs to breathe anyway? I think that cannibal scared me right there. He just popped up out of the smoke. But there are kids screaming and running. Pretty fun. Oh, there goes a cannibal. He did not go past his station. 
The Colossus was not colossusizing. It was down. There was a lot of rides down. That was contributing to the high wait times on the other rides. But while we're over here, we decided, why not? Let's go see Love at First Fright in the palace. I saw this years ago. It's the exact same show it's been for I, I don't even know how long. Several, several years. The show is is fine. You know, the songs are good. The actors and the performers are all really good. It's just, I think they just need to get rid of the storyline and just sing the songs. Like, the storyline makes absolutely no sense. Just, just go dance and do the songs. That's my recommendation. It won't happen. When we got out, the Colossus was flying. I guess they were doing some kind of test on it, but this thing was hauling Colossus. What is going on? It never did come up while we were there. When we were walking to the exit, I did see this uh, coaster coffee mug. I don't know if it's new. I don't know if it's been there for five years or 50 years. Does anyone know if that mug is new? I don't ever remember seeing it, and I've probably said that in a previous video as well. But they do have coffee, if you're interested, in there. And that is going to do it from Fright Fest at Six Flags. Another great trip. Every trip I've been has been wonderful. So we'll hope to see you there. If you see us, say hi. May the adventure continue. Thank you, Six Flags, for another great evening. Just get your rides going. People get upset when, like, ten different rides are down. But until then, may the adventure continue. On to the next adventure.